Has the mystery of the Loch Ness Monster finally been solved? Spanning 263,000 million cubic feet, under 600 feet deep pitch black water, it is the largest body of fresh water in the British Isles. Since the 6th century, when an Irish monk described burying a man killed by a water beast, it has also been the site of the mysterious Loch Ness Monster. One Nessie fan, Gordon Holmes, who filmed bizarre jet black shapes moving in the lake in 2007, has sadly had his hope recently dampened by one expert. His infamous two-minute roadside video showed a long black shape moving just under the surface of the water. However, U.S. computer experts analyzed the eerie footage, and it was revealed that the creatures were in fact eels up to 15 feet long. Mr. Holmes, of West Yorkshire, explained. For over eight years now I have struggled to interpret what the two mysterious creatures were that I was fortunate to capture on film on May 26, 2007. I am extremely grateful to the various experts who have analyzed the footage and provided me with their opinion of the creature's identity. Since seals do appear strange, ancient, scary-like beasties. That may explain several of the Loch Ness sightings over the centuries. Unless some unknown creature is retrieved from the depths of Loch Ness, I believe those experts have finally resolved this major mystery in my life. Eels have long been the culprit for many false sightings in 2003, Richard Freeman of the Center for 40 and Technology, in Exeter, said the monster was probably a giant sterile eel. However, a 2014 satellite photo showing a large water-based creature swimming down the coast of Scotland has some convinced that Nessie has escaped from the loch over time. Countless explanations and sightings of this eerie plesiosaur-like beast lurking in the Scottish loch. Gareth Williams, Dean of Medicine at Bristol University, recalled the time when Sir Peter Scott, founder of the World Wildlife Fund, was dragged into the Loch Ness theories. E culprit for many false sightings. Getty eels have long been the culprit for many false sightings. He urged scientists to name the beast so it could be listed as an endangered species. In 1960, he said, I have for a long time thought it's more than probable that an undescribed animal lives in Loch Ness. He explained that he was convinced by a piece of grainy film recorded by Tim Dinsdale, which even the defense intelligence analyzed as an animate object swimming in the loch. But people soon unraveled the name Sir Scott gave the creature, Nessiteras rhombopteryx, as an anagram for monster hoax by Peter S.